I came here when I was 22, and then I went to school here in the U.S. Uh, so my parents had actually always pushed us, and specifically being a woman and being a girl at the time, my mom would say, you have to get education uh, in order to, literally in her words, like, you know, in order for women to be undefeatable, right? Like, you know, to conquer the world, essentially, you have to get a uh, highest possible education because the business instincts are always going to come. You will always have a job. You have to actually do something of your own. First thing you do is, like, you know, get education. So I came, like, they were not able to come here when they were actually med students. They didn't have enough money then to actually come to the U.S. So one of the things we were told when growing up, me and my brother, was both of us were supposed to come here. That was like one of the goals. So then they sent us here, um, and for me, I, when I was doing like you know my PhD in electrical engineering at USC, I was always drawn to data. Uh, so it was more about like you know, I would always look at the network data and try to figure out what's wrong with that, uh, and you look at like you know terabytes and terabytes of data and try to figure out. Is there something anomalous? Um, like, what is wrong? And look at the patterns and try to figure it out. And that sort of tried to lead me to the cybersecurity because it's always about finding something malicious. Like, you know, you have like pockets and pockets of data, and you try to figure out like, you know, something wrong there or not. Um, and that was my interest. So data analytics applied to cybersecurity. That's kind of what I was doing. That's that's kind of how I got started with cybersecurity.